Hey, thanks for watching the Nish Jack Show. I mean, we really like it when you watch it. As a matter of fact, if you just hit that subscribe button, it'd be awesome. Go to nishjacks.com, nishjack.com, nishjack.com, also onepeakmedical.com. And you do that, things are going to be good. I mean, I got like lots of things going on, and I think you could too. All you have to do is uh, is, is listen to the show. Nisha, how you Did doing? Did you just snort a line with the show? <laughs> well, I want to boost energy. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I'm guessing that's oh, not dear. the exact way to do it. But, you know, we're talking oh, about energy. Oh I mean, God. first thing I guess we would suggest is... Uh, Take brandx.com. Yes, Brand X is. I'm. T it's. 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 Brand X is the company. Okay. The supplement that I'm talking about is called Pickup Sticks, and okay. it's a. I don't have one right next to me, but it's a little. Uh, it's an orange flavor stick. It comes in a little stick-looking thing. You just tear off the end and put it in your water bottle. It is so fabulous for a pickup in the afternoon. I swear to you, I don't care who I give this thing to, it works. It works for picking you up in the afternoon. It's excellent before a workout to help you get to your workout. And it, it tastes good. It tastes so good. There's so many things out there, I won't name the names of these companies, but there's so many drinks out there that you, or things you put in your water that you, you literally are drinking it going, I know this is good for you, but it tastes terrible. <laughs> this actually tastes so good. So I, I'd really recommend if you, if you feel like you're, our topic today is energy. So if you're hitting the wall in the afternoon or you're feeling kind of like that brain foggy thing, mm -hmm. you know how you get tired and you just can't even think like you're done for the day, but you're not done for the day. Right. The Brand X pickup sticks is really, it's its really, I've never seen anything like it. It works so good. Have you noticed in the, in your career, energy going down in people or have we always had this thing where we're trying to get more energy? Is yeah. this new? No. I don't think it's a new thing that people, I mean, it's a great observation question. I don't think it's a new thing that we're trying to get more energy and we just are all cracked out on energy. I really think we're doing so many things today that depletes us of our energy. Mm -hmm. I, there's so many things and I'm going to go through what those things are today because I think there's obviously the number one reason why people go to the medical office today is because of fatigue. Really? Number one. I didn't know that. They don't know why they're tired. They're exhausted. And, uh, you know, fatigue leads to a lot of problems. It leads to depression. It leads to inability to sleep at night. It leads to uh, overeating. It leads to drugs. It leads to excessive alcohol intake. It really is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. So most people at some point in their life, whether it be early in childhood, teenage years later, they're going to deal with fatigue at some point. And it can be very disabling. Um, and it, it really turns you into somewhat of an unproductive individual. Hmm. So that's not good. So I just wanted to talk about today, what are some of the reasons why people might be fatigued that maybe they're pretty simple things, but maybe they're things you haven't thought about that you could start maybe making some adjustments to, uh, to make a difference. First of all, drinking water. I don't think it's, a huge medical breakthrough that when you're dehydrated, you're tired. So you're going to talk about, I mean, I water. I mean, I get a Coke or a Rockstar or something like that. That's gives the energy drinks are all over the place. Just water? Yeah, just fluid intake. So when you become dehydrated, it makes your body pump fluid less efficiently. Hmm. So just imagine your fluid, your blood being pumped less efficiently that's going to lead to sluggishness, right? Because mm -hmm. your blood carries oxygen. If you have less oxygen, you are going to be more tired. Right. So that kind of makes sense, right? So just basic uh, concept of hydrating yourself. In fact, Rusty, have you ever, um, I always say hit the wall at two in the afternoon, but it might be like four in the afternoon or something. Have you ever hit the wall in the afternoon and then you went and drank a whole glass of water, like eight ounces, 10 ounces of water? Have you um, ever done that? I, I have, yes. Okay because you almost instantly feel better. Right. If you don't think so, just say you do. I No, it's true, I do. <laughs> I, I have a little cold, cold, nice cold water uh, machine there that I get. Yeah. It, it's great. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So it's like, I always say it's like you're, you know, in the middle of summer when you have those beautiful little flowers that you planted in the pot on the front porch and they're just completely drooped over because you forgot to water them the day before. When you put water on them, they almost 
instantly perk up. Hmm. That's exactly what your body does. So watering yourself <laughs> makes a big difference. <laughs> Dehydration really, we don't want our blood to be pumped less efficiently because that makes our whole body work less efficiently. And most people won't think about dehydration unless it's really hot outside, right? right? Exactly. And usually, aren't we all pretty much suffering from a little dehydration, kind of like we're suffering from lack of vitamin D? It's kind yes. of the same kind of thing. Yeah, and, and and most of the time, even more so in the winter months, especially if you live somewhere where it's cold, you could be dehydrated even worse than you would be in the summer. But you don't think about drinking water in the winter because uh -huh. it's like it's a cold outside and stuff. Right. Uh, eating a high sugar breakfast is a really, really big problem for fatigue. Uh, if you don't believe this, just try having a couple pancakes with some syrup in the morning and then see how you feel about two o'clock in the afternoon or even noon. You, you will feel exhausted. Huh. So spikes in your blood sugar and then troughs or drops in your blood sugar causes fatigue. So that's not good. No. In fact, I actually recommend that you consider, if you haven't done it before, just play around with the concept of intermittent fasting, where you're going longer periods of time without eating because it really keeps your brain awake. And, and that's something you've talked about before. We haven't talked about it in a long time. What? How, how many hours do you suggest somebody not eat and to do this intermittent fasting yeah. thing? I like 16 or 17 hours, but some people just need to start with 12. Start with 12 hours. So that 12 hours just means from the time you stop eating at night until you start eating the next day. So if you stop eating at eight o'clock, so 12 hours would be starting to eat at 8 a.m. in the morning, not before, but at 8 a.m. Um, but the real benefits from intermittent fasting start kicking in at 14 and 15 and 16 hours. So you may have to work up to that because your body's become accustomed to having to eat first thing in the morning. I, I strongly believe that most people, unless you have a medical condition, can very easily go 12, 13, 16 hours without eating. In fact, you'll find that you have more energy, more brain function, more focus, more stamina, less cravings, and much better weight loss if you would do this. Sounds like the breakfast food industry is uh, overhead with the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> They're <right>. coming <laughs> after you. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> so eating a high sugar breakfast really, it, it, your body is really not meant to have sugar. If you think about what sugar does to your nervous system and what it does to your overall uh, chemistry with your glucose and your insulin, we're not meant to have that. That's not how you raise your energy in the morning is by giving yourself a depressant. Sugar is a depressant. Mm. Um, also eating junk food uh, throughout the day. So you, the last thing you want to do is have your blood sugar go up and down, up and down, up and down, because that's what your energy is going to do during the day is it's going to be compromised all throughout the day, all throughout the day if you're eating sugar or junk food throughout the day. Drinking alcohol before you go to bed at night. That's a big one. So we talked about in previous shows how harmful it was to eat sugar before you go to bed. Uh, it, it, drinking alcohol before you go to bed or sugar before you bed, bed before you go to bed will interrupt your sleep, <laughs> and it'll be somewhere between one and three in the morning most most of the time. You'll wake up and you won't know why you can't go back to sleep, but it's because your blood sugar's dropped, the alcohol's worn off. The effects of the glucose have worn off and your and your brain is now awake. And uh, so I would actually recommend if you really feel like you need to have a nighttime snack is the option of having a little bit of protein and a complex carbohydrate like celery with some peanut butter on it. Hmm, okay. Not exactly the nighttime snack you were hoping for, mm -hmm. but it would be much better for you or a very small potato with a little bit of protein on it. Um, those do not spike your blood sugar, but they allow your serotonin, which is your feel-good hormone, to come up and actually make melatonin, which is your sleep hormone, and you can get to sleep longer. Mm. And some people actually do need to do that. Anemia is another cause of fatigue. Um, a lot of men and women have anemia. They don't know it. Their iron levels are low, and anemia is a huge cause of uh, fatigue. Hmm. So that might be something that you have checked. Uh, we know that when the hormone levels are low, when testosterone is low for men, uh, when estrogen or testosterone is low for women, they will suffer from fatigue. 
Um, a lot of men are not being checked for low thyroid, but they have low thyroid, mm -hmm. and that is the number one hormonal cause of fatigue. You have low thyroid. I do. So having undiagnosed low thyroid can, uh, can be a problem because you won't get on top of your fatigue unless that's treated. So you have not mentioned energy drinks. I mean, Red Bull gives you wings. Rockstar makes you feel better. What's wrong? I mean, I know I'm being silly, but what's wrong with those? I mean, there there's yeah. so many of them out there. There's got to be, I mean, you know, why don't you like them? Well, I've never, I don't know if I've actually ever, yeah, I have come out and said I don't like them. Um, so I, I guess I have said that. Um, I mean, if that's bad, we don't yeah. say, I mean. So I, I really encourage people to put things in their body that their liver does not have to work overtime to detoxify. So when you put a lot of chemicals in your body, especially chemicals that come from, um, that come from artificial coloring and artificial ingredients and things that the excessive excessive amounts of caffeine that your body has to metabolize and get rid of the harder your liver has to work hmm. and your body just doesn't need to work any your liver does not need to work any harder than it already has to work just detoxifying environmental toxins so I don't think it's a good idea to give your nervous system that much of a jolt throughout the day because it's not only is it very habitual because one's not going to be enough. It's you're going to come down off that. You're going to need another. I really believe that some of these high and many of them are loaded with sugar. Um, you know, if you're not doing the diet ones and then the diet ones is a whole nother story. Um, the harmful effects of uh, diet drinks. So I think you just have to be careful what you're putting in your body. And you are a fan, if you're just tuning in, you are a fan of coffee. Coffee's okay. Yes. <laughs> Coffee's okay. <laughs> and that's not just because you're a, a junkie. Why do you like coffee? Well, I am a junkie. Well, there's a little bug on there. Um, <laughs> I, do, I do love coffee. Um, coffee is, in small amounts, actually very helpful. I mean, very um, uh, healthful for you. Can you see that bug on there? I can, but they can't. Oh, I can see it. Can There's just... a little cute little, uh, like, there we go. There we go. Um, the uh, antioxidants that you get from coffee are quite good. Now, I think that there is some coffee that's probably not good for you. I don't put anything in my coffee. So a couple of cups of coffee a day, I allow myself to have All right, that. but you're not doing the double this, uh, latte with the double no. vanilla caramel shot stuff no no, no. sugary no okay. sugary stuff i don't add anything in it to okay it. so that makes a big difference yes that makes a big difference so in summary for all of this what are some things that you can do to improve your energy so we talked about all the things that zap your energy so if you just did the opposite of all those things we just talked about that would be a good start but also giving yourself some downtime there's only so much we can have going to our brain and when you asked that question in the beginning rusty about are we just are, are we just in a place in our lives where we're just searching for more energy because we can never get enough or are we doing things that zap our energy and one of those things uh, that we do that zaps our energy is being constantly plugged into something we're always looking at our phone we're always looking at our email we're always like thinking and processing and trying to figure things out and dealing with emotional conflict with people maybe just giving yourself a break during the day where you just shut down for 10, 15, 20 minutes um, or a couple of times a day just to give your brain a break. Mental exhaustion leads to physical fatigue. So give yourself some space to kind of quiet up a little bit. It'll make a big difference in your overall energy. I love that. That's that's great, great advice. Uh, please, if you would, go to nishajackson.com uh, where you can find out more about Nisha, her book, which is brilliant burnout, brilliant burnout. And there's a whole chapter on how to increase your energy. <laughs> so to so do that, the other thing is some great supplements at one peak medical. Uh, yes. what, what would you suggest for energy energy? I would suggest AM stress. Um, AM stress is a stress support supplement. It'll improve your focus, your attention, uh, your energy throughout the day, but more from a, from a stress management standpoint, not from a like caffeine standpoint. Okay. And then pick up sticks from Brand X, take brandx.com. And um, the pick up sticks is really good for just picking you up when you need it. Awesome. Uh, again, uh, onepeakmedical.com or nishajackson.com. Subscribe and uh, make sure you hit the notification so you don't miss any of the wisdom that comes out of this brilliant, brilliant woman. It's not just brilliant burnout, brilliant woman. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. I'm Rusty Humphreys. 
just landed on thick. <laughs> this is Nisha Jackson, and this is the Nisha Jackson Show. <laughs>